हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे वी आर डिस्कस ऑन द मैकेनिक्स ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स द टॉपिक्स आर द जोमेट्रिकल एस्पेक्ट वॉल्यूम फ्रैक्शन मास फ्रैक्शन एंड डेंसिटी एंड वाइड कंटेंट्स द जोमेट्रिकल एज पर द जोमेट्रिकल एस्पेक्ट most of the composite materials are either homogeneous non isotropic a homogeneous material is the one where properties are uniform throughout that is they do not depends on the positions in the body and isotropic materials is one when properties are direction independent composites are homogeneous as well as non isotropic materials and in homogeneous materials or which is also called as the heterogeneous materials is one where properties of materials vary from point to point and non isotropic materials is one where materials properties depends on the direction in such materials the modulus may be different in x y and z direction a uh, non isotropic materials may be orthotropic anisotropic in the orthotropic the composites have three mutual perpendicular planes of the material symmetry and in anisotropic the composites had no planes of the material symmetry right then in some basic terminology there are laminates there are lamina micro mechanics micro micro mechanics and micro mechanics there are the some terms in this geometrical aspect then to number 1 which is volume fraction is the one of the geometrical aspect consider a uh, composite consisting of fiber and matrix take the following symbol notation vc vf vm vc for volume of composite vf for volume of fiber and vm for volume of matrix also the sigma c sigma f Uh, row sorry row c row f and row m which is the density of the composites fiber and matrix respectively now define the fiber volume fraction vf and matrix volume fraction vf as vf is equal to small vf divided by small vc and capital vm divided by small vm divided by small vc therefore the sum of volume fraction is v f plus v m is equal to 1 right then also the v f plus v m is equal to the v c second one is our mass fraction in the mass fraction which is also called as the weight fraction of the fibers w f and the matrix vm wc is equal to mass of the composites as show in the volume fractions wf is equal to small w divided by wc wm is equal to wm divided by wc and that's why vf of the wf plus wm is equal to 1 and wf plus wm is equal to wc and there are or therefore the sum of mass fraction is wf plus wm is equal to 1 wf plus wm is equal to wc from the definitions of the density of a single materials wf is equal to rho f vf and wm is equal to rho m vm these are from the our single material density then the mass fraction and volume fractions are related as wf is equal to sigma f divided by sigma c multiplied by vf 
and Wm is equal to sigma m divided by sigma c multiplied by Vm. Then number third one is the density. The mass of composite Wc is the sum of mass of the fibers Wf and mass of the matrix Wm as Wf plus Wm is equal to Wc. From the definitions of the density of a single materials, Wf is equal to sigma f Vf and Wm is equal to sigma m Vm. We will be get sigma f Vf plus sigma m Vm is equal to sigma c Vc. Divide our equation by Vc, we will be get sigma f Vf plus sigma m Vm is equal to sigma c. Sorry, rho c. The density of composite in the terms of mass fractions can be found as 1 divided by sigma c rho, sorry, rho c is equal to wf divided by sigma uh, rho f plus wm divided by rho m. Now turn to white's contains. During the manufacturing of the composites, Whites are introduced in the composites as shown in the figure. See in this figure, these photomicrographs of the sections of the lamina with whites are shown here. Right, whites forms at the interface of the composite structure. These are generally formed as gas bubble trapped inside the cured composite material. The main sources of whites includes the material, constituents and synthetic processes. The pres presence of whites in a composite structure is found to affect its structural and mechanical properties. It has been predicted that the interlayer and Intralayer reactions caused by the stress and chemically driven diffusion are responsible for the unusual white behavior in composites. See in this figure voids and something. Then voids presents in the composite materials can be evaluated by matrix digestions and matrix burn of techniques. This causes the theoretical density of the composites to be higher than the actual density. Also, the white contents of composites is detrimental to its mechanical properties. These detriments include lower. First one is the shear tripness and strength. Second one is the compressive strength. Next one is the transfer tensile strength. Next one is the fatigue resistance, then moisture resistance. Now, a decrease of 2 to 10 degrees in the prescending matrix dominated properties generally takes place with every 1% increases in the void contents. For composites with a certain volume of voids VV, the volume fractions of the white's VV is defined as VV is equal to VV divided by VC. Then the total volume of a composite's VC with whites is given by VF plus VM plus VV is equal to VC. By definition of the experimental density rho C E of composites, the actual volume of the composites is sigma, uh, Vc is equal to Wc divided by rho C and by the definition of the the theoretical density sigma Ct of the rho Ct of the composites the theoretical volume of the composites is Vf plus Vm is equal to Vc Vf plus Vm is equal to Wc divided by rho Ct put the O equation Vf plus Vm plus Vv is equal to Vc. Then Wc divided by 
rho C D plus V V is equal to W C divided by rho C. The volume of the void is given by V V is equal to W C divided by sigma plus rho C into bracket rho C T minus rho C divided by rho C T. Then volume fractions of the voids is V V is equal to V V divided by V C and V V is equal to sigma plus rho C T minus rho C divided by rho C T. Thank you, friends.